consider myself probably the best annotator or one of the best in the world and um, I've been annotating YouTube videos for a very long time and I just finished annotating this video which I probably consider one of the best and I want to show you kind of the level of work the annotation does. Hi, my name is Michael right. Trout and I want to do a talk about you my story. You can do some um, and really how cool things with annotations, you, right? I've gotten to where I am um, you know, your name's down here. Um, I've got my newest talks up here. Right? It's like a rabbit hole. I got an error here I got to get rid of. You can actually space them out like this. Like, how can I save the planet? Right? I launched something called Edgewick. And um, you can basically think of a talk and think of annotations as kind of like um, an interactive PowerPoint where you can kind of add content to talks and ultimately improve the message. So if you're making a video and you're not annotating, you're actually kind of losing out. Right? So you can use quotes like I am here. Right? Um, and then I should have Mandela. Where is Mandela? <laughs> it's not perfect. The East Singularity Prize, something I started in 2009, right? Try to get um, the X Prize, but see, the X Prize wanted me to turn over all the IP for it, and I'm like, I'm not going to turn over the IP. This is my my baby, right? So if you read the rules of the X Prize, you lose your you lose your idea the moment you submit it to the X Prize. I'm not willing to do that. And I started that in 2001. Trying to get to some more of the annotations here. Let me um, skip forward a little bit. Let's move this over. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Oh, I'm talking about the three stages of the startup. So watch how I do this. It's kind of cool. There are three stages of the startup. Boom. The pre-seed. And if I really wanted, and then over 99% of these fail, right? I could do it a little bit better. I've actually, you know, this is old. This is about a year old. I would do it a little different, a little bit more. You know, the seed, the pre-seed, the seed. I have little things in here, right? Little. And then I have these little bars. And again, what I could do to fix this, actually, let's fix this real quick. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. So I, they change annotations, right? They change annotations before. Okay, the before, and this is what really messes me up, which I don't like about YouTube. They're you figure out something like, oh, if I put the annotation, the last annotation is always on top. Well, what Google did was they flipped it. It's the first annotation now that's on top. Because what you could do is create a blackboard. I could like mask out the, the entire video with annotations and then turn a talk into a PowerPoint, right? Well, they nixed that. So now you, ha I got to go back and change this, right? All right. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to just, come on. Uh, I guess I want like that. So you gotta be really gentle with it. And you can make these bigger. I hate, I don't know why they have 13. 13, 11 and 13 is really dumb. They should have it larger. And they should have much of, what's, I mean, what's the difference between a 13 and a 16? And then it jumps to 28. It's like, what the heck? Where's 24? I mean, it's like, oh. But this has actually become redundant because now they're scaling to fit, right? So if you do the largest, and then you can scale as big, right? Or you can do it smaller, right? But obviously, I can't fit 80% fail. I can actually can. I can just change this 80% fail, right? 80. And I can put like the over sign wherever that is. Okay, is that over? Greater than? Greater than 80% fail? I don't think that's less than. I never know. I never can never remember that, right? And 99% fail and by doing less and if you're good at Twitter you'll be good at this right I don't know if that's over or less than or over it's gonna really bug me whatever it doesn't really matter uh, actually it does matter let me pause this and find alright so for those like me who get confused this is greater than this is less than right so greater than I had it right alright so you can see what I did here um, I made a bigger and on here so if I continue with it and oh you always have to go up here make sure you hit publish save and publish otherwise um, if something happens like you crash or something it won't save so um, 
Right. And I explain. I mean, 99.7 for like pre-seed fail. Look at that. How I do the flash. You like that flashing? Pacific boom, boom, boom. It's kind of cool, right? And uh, to show you how I did that flashing, let me go in there, right? Right? So here is the, um, let me go zoom up here, right? Really big. Right? You can really go in. So here's the pre-seed. And then watch this bar down here. Fail, fail, fail. The simple fact is, right. monopoly because of the monopoly zoom in, it's in Wall Street banks and Silicon Valley has it. Anyway, so annotation is a great way to add content. Now, it takes a lot of time and effort. Now, if you want me to look at this, look at this, look at this. If you want your videos annotated, I need the money. So, if you want me to annotate your videos, um, I will do it and uh, at a fair and reasonable fee. Probably around, you know, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks an hour um, for my time and work and expertise for it. Maybe even cheaper if, if there's, if, if you become a patron of foundups.com. I tell you what, you become a patron of foundups.com, I'll do it for you half price. So let's say I'll do it for 30 bucks an hour. As a patron of foundups, I'll do it for what, 15 bucks an hour. And I'll look at your video. And probably like this is a 13 minute video and I just spent let's see I started around 7 a.m. and now it's 11 p.m. so that's three hours um, for a 13 minute video so um, you know so if you want this is I would call this heavy annotated right uh, maybe you just want light annotated so it depends I mean I'll you know maybe that only take me like 30 minutes to do whatever so um, let me know if you want me to annotate your videos and, and watch. I've got, you know, I, I have another video that I could show you. Well, I'm running out of time, but there's another video that I'll, that I'll link to this video that you can see what I did with a three hour or two hour talk that allows you to zoom around the talk and get to the information, right? This was kind of cool. I've seen no one else do this either. So a lot of the stuff I do, I've never seen done on annotations, and I doubt you will have.